What's the, what's the difference between? Difference between? Hey guys, we're back. We're back on, uh, we're talking about hair today. I hope we look pretty good. We look a little different. Got the braids over there. We got the <laughs> natural white hair over here. And we got a special guest with us who uh, who works with both white and black hair or textured and non-textured hair, I guess. Is that what you'd say? Introduce yourself. Go ahead. My name is Natasha. I'm from the Total Image Wigs and Hair Restoration Center in Woodland Hills. And um, I've been in business for 30 years, so... I'm here to inform. <laughs> yes, always inform. learning, always <laughs> learning. Yeah, we like that. We like that. <laughs> yes, and educate a little bit. So, what's going on, guys? How's it going? Thank you so much for being here. This Thank is, you. This is one of the episodes that I really wanted to get to because I think it's it's educational for a lot of people, uh, a lot of white people. Um, so we're gonna get right I think into all it. people though. All, all people, yes. yes I think, all yeah. people have yeah. some type of misunderstanding between yes. cultures, race, textures, whatever yes. it is. There's, there's a lot to misunderstand because yes. uh, the media really does take advantage of that misunderstanding. Because that's where I, I come from. Like, the only experience I have with textured hair or with, I'm just going to say black hair. I know I've been, I've been coached to say textured, but I'm going to say black hair because that's where my experience is um, with not having textured hair. But every movie has, you know, somebody with braids or wearing a, a do-rag or whatever you want to call your hair piece. And it's always somebody from who's not the nicest person or somebody from a, a not-so-good part of the neighborhood, right? So that's what you're trained. You're mentally just saying, oh, I, I had no idea what a do-rag was for. Do you, I just want to explain that so I don't have to be the guy who No, so what it. did you think it was what, for? I, I don't know. I thought it was just like a, 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 a I wear hat. hats all the time. Yeah, I thought it was just one of those things that people wore like, that had no real purpose to it. But it really does have a purpose. And you guys actually, like, someone with texture hair actually sleeps with to protect your hair, right? More than protect, it's more to create the style, especially with a do rag. Yeah, the guys, right. you know, they want their waves. They the want waves. it to lay down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that goes with the do rag and the mm -hmm. brushing of the hair, mm -hmm. the scalp. Yes. So yeah, how absolutely. did you learn? There how was a I purpose learn? for it, right? Uh, that's a great. I, well, I can't say. I it's think brief. I informed you. Right? Was it? Was it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it might have been brief. It might have been like when I was twenty something, and yeah, it, it, it's that. It's, it's that crazy that you just when you don't have that experience with somebody uh, from another culture or for that has that uh, textured hair, like you just I don't know. I, like, I see it all the time, and then you have people dressing up like that for for like Halloween costumes and stuff like that, and it's like they're supposed to be the. Quote, unquote, I've never like, seen anybody. Gang. Okay, the, well, maybe. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's okay. some people that have, have worn it. That, you know. Malibu most wanted. <laughs> yeah, Malibu most wanted is a perfect <laughs> example. Exactly. So, like, he's trying to be hard, trying to be tough. And it's like, that's so, the, so a white person almost, made that movie. Like, yeah, the suburbs yeah. or something will put on a do rag mm -hmm. to try to. Okay, not even yeah. really understanding. No, exactly. What it's really for. Exactly. So let's, let's educate myself and whoever's watching who, who may not have that experience. What what other differences? I guess what are the bigger differences between textured hair and or uh, like natural hair? Like what is what is natural hair versus uh, you know, it's not unnatural. Well, hair. Well, I wouldn't say natural. Actually, natural hair opposed to textured hair because textured hair is natural hair. Right. Okay. So it's kind of the same thing. I would say more fine hair, straight mm -hmm. hair opposed to um, textured hair. Yeah. Definitely. And it's and, not just black and, and white. Glad, like I'm white glad, people have textured hair. Say, for right? sure. It's yeah. not actually, I think, a black and a white yeah. thing. I think it's more of a genetics type of thing. Yeah, because right. Because I've seen people um, with the brightest skin with uh, mm -hmm. textured hair, with curly hair, with right. frizzy hair. Bright skin meaning white people? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Melon deficient, I guess. <laughs> Maybe the term. Uh, yeah, because... If this is bright, you can't tell. Then. White people, mm -hmm. Mexican people, Chinese people. Right. Yeah, yes. for sure. Other than black people. Yes. That's, it's more than just, it's, it can't just be as simple as black and white, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah. So I guess the, the one of the differences, too, is like treatment. I was watching a couple of YouTube videos <coughs> and prepping for trying to talk about this. And there's a lot of uh, differences in just in prepping hair in the t as far as textured hair versus straight hair. So anything as far as you want, like, the conditioning or, or how often you shampoo or how often um i think for most white people we like sh we shower every day we shampoo our hair and condition every day if you actually do conditioner sometimes people just use a three-in-one which is probably not the best thing to do but i have simpler think, hair. I, I think it's almost um up to the individual mm -hmm. kind of on how much how often 
I know some black people, very rare, not often, mm -hmm. that oh, wash their hair a couple times a week. We really don't, I want to even say need to. Mm -hmm. But like you said, the process. The process yeah. is so different. Right. Like, I can't just wash my hair and go. Right. You know, right. no. No, 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 no. Yeah. It definitely is a, a lot longer process. Uh-huh to yeah. do so so um and it's all about how how clean some people hair gets oilier oilier mm -hmm. than others whether they're black white yeah. hispanic asian mm -hmm. I, I believe it's on diet too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've never definitely. heard that yeah i've never heard that yeah before. definitely okay. it depends on your diet i love me lower saturated fat, saturated fats maybe or is that what yeah. you're thinking yeah 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 healthier diet mm -hmm. drinking more water yeah um, all heard, those components. Yeah, I've heard water can like. Yeah, we definitely yeah. don't drink enough. I think everybody's kind of guilty of not drinking enough to really hydrate. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you drink any water lately. Yeah, mind your damn business. <laughs> <laughs> That's too. I can't do. That. I'm white. I can't mind my own business. So you say you've been in the industry for thirty years or in business for thirty years? Well, you know, I won't. Almost. I, you know, I'm not going to tell my age right now because that's all right now. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> For a while. You're experienced in the industry. Yes. I'm yeah. definitely experienced in the industry and I deal with all different type of cultures, hair mm -hmm. textures, everything from um, straight, fine, curly, force. They all have the 4C and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. um, all of it I've dealt with. I'm actually, um, my sensor right now is... Um, a hair loss center mm. and which I'm most passionate about is dealing with people who where it's more than vanity where it's a necessity mm. where even during a pandemic um, I was like I'm a stencil I know I, yeah. I deal with people and women mm -hmm. who their husbands don't know what they look they look like yeah without their hair and definitely it's a confidence it's it can make it, it, your hair can make and break you for sure absolutely I image is a huge thing so for me it's like Maybe I don't have to uh, uh, be um, as put together or appear, or it's very easy for me to all oh, throw a hat on, or I'll just you know throw my hair to the side. So it's a lot easier and simpler for me to look okay, like look passable, or be okay with being out in public and not have that image issue. And again, maybe that's just me personally. I'm sure there are people who are a little different, but so you're saying it'll take us a little bit more to get together and put together. I want to say ourselves. that yes, I I, I, will, I I have no problem being so no, but. Yeah. Before we started this yeah. um, uh, episode, I seen yeah. him go in there and get ready, and literally took him two minutes. He two put minutes. His, <laughs> took off his shirt, put on another shirt. Yep. Put a little product on and was ready to go. Yeah. I could never. Literally could two you? minutes. How about it? Could you just? Um, so it depends on how my hair is. Like, um, I wore my hair short for many, many years, and I can brush and go, mm -hmm. but... Um, for me, I like to be presentable at all times. Did you times. go a yeah, couple you have, months you have without a look for getting sure. a haircut and look no? Nope. Together, I'll say that right now. No, this this guy gets his hair done like every other week. No, not. Um, <laughs> I have during the pandemic, you know, but I wore a hat. Mm -hmm. You know, it's ways like women wear weaves and stuff like that. It's ways that guys, you know, we hide our. Hi, not having a haircut or however, so yeah. I've done it, but it's not my choice. If I can be fresh, yeah, all the time. I mean, he is a DJ, think, so he's got to look good most of the time. Or but all the time. I, I mean, even 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 with you, if you go without mm -hmm. shaving or lining yourself yeah. up, I'm sure in a couple of weeks you can look a little rough. Oh no, for sure. But I think it's uh, maybe it's more like this is the most lined. So okay, so I actually went to. Well, we'll get into this right now because it is very relevant. So I went to a black barbershop for the first time. I always, for my entire life, thank you, have gone to like super cuts, fancy cuts, like the little cheap salons, right? 20 minutes in and out, done. And it's not always the greatest haircut, right? Like you just, you go there because it's cheap, it's fast. So wait, you didn't stuff. have one person or you wasn't loyal to one person. You would just go wherever, whenever? No. Why would I do that? So <laughs> I don't know for white people, for black people, uh -huh. if you go to another barber, it's like cheating. Right, you know, what I'm saying, or another yeah. stylist is like cheating. Yeah, like, no, you establish you, you that have to stay loyal to yeah. whoever cut your hair. You right. can't let anybody just cut your hair. See, I can't speak for all white people, but I think it's because of those like cheap salons. It's like you don't even know. I mean, most of these women, it's mostly women who are in those salons, and it's they cut anything and everything. Well, I mean, not natural hair, but uh, they just they do whoever and do whatever, and it's very like get in, get out. 
there's no real service there. There's nothing. No so anyways, happy endings. So what? <laughs> <laughs> The happy ending is getting out of there. Quick. I was about to ask, but it's different. I was going to say, were you always satisfied? No. And, and, that's, and that's exactly the point. Like, it was good enough. And that that's where I've always said, like, that's yeah, fine. Like, and then I look in the mirror and it's like, was this supposed to be cut here? Or like, was this supposed to? So, so no, not really. There was never like, but again, it's cheap, it's fast. It's just, that's just what I what I grew up in. So what and, do you call that haircut? Uh... Well, I don't know what the official name is, but it's super like cut. so. I've always kind of, <laughs> no. This is not super cut. This is this is the this is the Marcus special from uh, the Good Vibes in Northridge. The Good Vibe in Northridge. So shout, shout out. out to Marcus and uh, OJ who uh, who owns the, the salon. Too. Are you wait 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 wait? Uh, uh-huh. We're only gonna shout out if you're gonna go back. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back because it's you literally like say, you right kind of already said you're a chair hopper a little bit. No, so. I, well, I said I was a chair hopper because there was salons and there's a bunch of them and it was it's there's no relationship there. So that that was the cool thing is that we actually uh, Marcus and I had a really good conversation. It was hmm. and you had time to do it too. It wasn't just da, 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 done right. Yeah, I, I've never done like a lineup. I've never had like a razor razor done and it's, it's nice. I, I gotta appreciate that. And it's like the peppermint tea tree oil was cool. So what what <clears> race was Marcus? Black. Okay. He's actually no. He's bi. Actually, he's he's mixed. Huh? He's mixed. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Biracial. <laughs> Biracial. <laughs> Biracial. <laughs> No, nothing against yeah, right? bisexual no. people, but it definitely it caught me off guard. Oh, right. I gotta be careful with the terminology, apparently. So yes, so he's mixed. Okay. Uh, his mom is, I think, his mom's white. I think, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. So uh, yeah, he's he's mixed race. So uh, it was it was cool. Okay. But we talk about football. We talk about a lot of things. But he cut more um, Afro- black people's hair. I, oh, I think he's done a mix. I mean, I didn't. Tail. I didn't really get to the what bottom can, of his actual client. Since though. he was mixed, mm-hmm. why do you say I went to like a black? Because it's a barber. black sh- barber shop, and he was. I mean, he. I mean, he mostly looked black. He wasn't like a super light skinned guy. Well, we already established this. If you have any black, any black in, in your black, you're black. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Escape this has it. been established. So this is the first already. mixed black, almost black like type of barber you ever went to. Mm-hmm. Any black, any, any, wow. uh, yeah, yeah. Chris has been having new experiences <laughs> since this podcast. So what made you? <laughs> no, so I kind of know. That's the thing. Is like it, 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 here's here's why I want to create the podcast because I recognize there's a lot of uh, biases I have or like implicit biases, um, and and experience and like oh I don't really understand that. Like, I don't understand the uh, the hair. I don't understand like what why why do you wear the do rag? Why do you do this? Why why do you guys wear it's called a bonnet right when you sleep in it? Is it a bonnet or is it a different name? It's different. Different names. So it's different price. So like, mm-hmm. you, like, so I'm like, I don't understand. Like, why is that a thing? So it was kind of like, okay, I want to explore uh, what this culture is all about, and like, the, the and find out the differences, and mostly find there's a lot of similarities. So that was my thing. So having started it, it's like, oh, okay, well, let's go, uh, let's go black barbershop, and let's go experience that. Unless we were going to take a trip to the um, to Alabama to go to an HBCU. Unfortunately, that got canceled because of different issues but um that's an experience we're gonna have too so it's like i've never been i've been to st louis so that's like the farthest south which is not south but i really want to go there and experience okay what's what's the black culture down there i want to go to atlanta i want to go to detroit so we have a lot of connections that we're gonna eventually hopefully next couple seasons um go do so that's that's what i want to experience okay so anyway so black barbershop but yeah you still didn't tell me what kind of haircut you have so what did you ask for uh, well, he. I just said, yeah, get, do do what you want to do. Like, I want to see what you offered. Mm-hmm. And basically, it was the same thing I've kind of had, which is there's a thing called a faux hawk, which everything goes down in the front, and mm-hmm. it looks like at the front is a faux hawk. This is more of like a pushover. So it's like a little up front, but it's kind of pushed over. So why do white people get those cuts? Why you know, the little comb over the little type comb over thing. stuff? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This... Uh, because <laughs> yeah, it like looks a good. Of, like a lot of high and tight. So that thing. used to be like a, called a copete. A copete? copete? Yes. Oh. That's, that's what it's been. That's what Mexicans call it. They call it like a copete uh-huh. when you have like the yeah. kind of comb over thing, yeah. like wave thing going on. Right. Yeah. yeah. I th- Jimmy oh, Neutron. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. I've been told I'm Jimmy Neutron. I've been told I'm Fry. From, uh, yeah. So it's I get a lot of that. Uh, it, I, when I grew up, when I was younger, I've always had a buzz cut. That's because that was just simple, easy, get in, get out. And I've never had the bowl cut. Maybe when I was like two or something. But like I've always had short hair. And then when I grow it out, it just becomes a natural pushover. And it just looks really disheveled. And I've grown the beer out to light here. And it's just... 
How long? Unmanageable. Like down here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll show you those pictures. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so we want to get more into your expertise. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Um, so have you serviced more straight or textured here, do you think? Because you do work with definitely, both. both. Definitely textured. Okay. But I'm, um, I probably say about 40% of my clientele um, is not black. Um, not black? Yes, it's not black. Okay. So I'm very, re I'm very diverse when it comes to my clientele and who I service. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to, I tend to believe that, you know, with people's lifestyle, like I said, you have people, it's so broad. Mm -hmm. It's really so broad because mm -hmm. I deal with so many different type of people where is, um, people might say, okay, um, where you're natural. I have a lot of hair under my under under my unit. I say unit. Okay. Mm, some is, that call proper, it, is that the some proper? Is that the proper term? Some people will say wig, <laughs> but I'll call it a unit. I have a lot of hair under my unit, but my hair is like, like, like huge and it's unruly, mm -hmm. and um, I can't. Con it's and it's kind of uncontrollable to a certain. It's controllable, but I, it takes too much time, mm -hmm. and my lifestyle does not. Um, allow me to be able to get up and uh, mm -hmm. comb and style my hair for where when I go out and I'm in my center for me to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about, about pe people yeah. feeling comfortable, yeah. you know. Um, Would you say it's difficult then? Like, like the hair, yeah, your like, natural hair is just it's difficult yeah, I, to work with. For sure. Like I said, yeah. I can't just get out the, the shower and shake my hair and go or mm -hmm. get a little diffuser and diffuse my hair and go. That's not a look that I'm that me I'm personally comfortable with. Some yeah. people are. Some people, not to say some black people are comfortable with just wearing their hair mm -hmm. and you know actually natural's in right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Natural's really in. Right. A lot of people are embracing more of their natural hair, which mm -hmm. I think is is great. I think I think I think it, it's beautiful. So I have two questions. One is natural more centered towards black people because you know, white people without anything in their hair, that's at a natural state as well, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, natu natural is natural, whether it's white or black. Um, it just takes black people a little bit, like I said, a little bit more, um, almost like Chris was talking about right now. It takes us a little bit more time. It's a little more To processed. put ourselves together. Right. And I don't, and I kind of think, you know, Right now, like I said, natural is coming more uh, back in a little bit more. People mm -hmm. are more comfortable with it because it's about what you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But um, for the most part, we've been kind of, um, I would say, not to the facts, kind of like brainwash where we got to look a certain way, where mm -hmm. you want to look like the girls on social media mm -hmm. or the right. videos or whatever's out there like right now. Um well, there kind of is this, uh, it's it's becoming less, but there has been a stigma. And it, uh, there's this really good YouTube video, and I'm, I'm blanking on who put it out. But it was the evolution of how black women use their hair. Like, uh, were able to either express themselves in the 70s, where it was like the froze, and like natural hair was a big thing then. Are you talking about the movie? No, but no, that's a good movie, movie too. But that, okay. we, we can get to that. Um, but it was just a YouTube video. It was kind of like over the decades, basically. It was like, you know, from back in the 1800s, yeah. when it was like, you just it is what it is, because... Obviously, you were slaves, and it's you do what you could do. Well, hair. no, 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 no. Mm. Um, that's not when people start first really wearing like extensions and hair. Yeah. And actually, if you think about it, I mean, Cleopatra mm. was wearing hair units and pieces right. and things like that, yeah. which yeah, you know, her hair was more. It wasn't as textured as black people. You know, mm -hmm. she had re uh, was really straight and uh, straight hair. Yeah, and it's not to so, say that that was the start of it, but it, it, the video just kind of showcases like how it, natural hair was acceptable and not acceptable, and then you know, especially okay. like office, like the office work environment. There were so many things that like maybe in the '90s or something where it's like you had to show up like this, yeah. and it's like you couldn't just show up with your natural hair because it was not well kept or it was not uh, professional. And that's a lot of sports too. Like uh, I think we've all seen that video of the wrestler who had to have cut his. I don't know it was locked or whatever it was. He had a, yeah, he had cut him off. I'm like, that one didn't make sense. There was another one where she had beads, and unfortunately that was a safety issue. So that a lot of people went up in arms about that, but it's like that was a violation of the rules, not because she was she had that. But, um, but it is a professional. like The violation of rules. So the safety, white people. Sa no, it was a safety issue. So it's like people can't have anything in their hair. Like the beads were, were an issue that could cause harm. Like that was a legit 
Like that, see, like you're getting up in arms about it, but it's because I was gonna thing. say, do you think they put that rule in for white people, or did they put the rule in for black people? All people. It may the girls, white girls have beads in their hair too. Sometimes. What white girls? There are girls who put beads in their hair. Come what on. white girls? So Izzy. Yeah, Maybe. sure. Yeah, so there are girls. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't. I, I don't follow that. So. Uh, yeah, so there was a problem. Would, there I, was a problem. Like you I, had to I would agree to yeah, you because yeah. if you're on the basketball court or you're playing tennis, yeah. and you got bees in your hair and they fall and they out. Fall that out. is definitely it's a, a safety it's a, And then I think it was a, it was wrestling or it was something where it was like a lot of like impact and co- yeah. So it was a thing. Um, but I don't understand the the wrestler who got his locks cut off. Spare me with that. I have a question. Which type of hair do you think is most difficult to style? Or is there one that's more? It depends. Evil? It depends. I don't. I would say fine hair. Fine hair is difficult to style. Where mm-hmm. if somebody has fine, where they don't have a lot of hair, where mm-hmm. it's thin, yeah. and um, yeah, that could be difficult to style. Mm-hmm. And a person with really thick, coarse hair could be difficult to style, mm-hmm. for sure. I was gonna say biracial, but all biracial hair is not the same. It's all different but, too. Yeah. But like that, you know what? We black people, quote unquote, call good hair. Is that easier to um, style? It would definitely depend on the style. Such thing as good hair? No. No. But what do you mean, good hair? Because, so, like, when you say like like yeah, easy to work hair? with, That's you mean like it's question. most versatile, or like because. I mean, not to be, you know, toot my horn, but like this is good hair because it's hell easy to do whatever I want with it. But I don't have the diversity to like really do a lot with it. I can't put my hair in braids. I can't do anything with it. So I think good hair is where you can, my opinion, but I don't have good hair. So I, but my opinion when you can, you know, like what is it called? Like wet and go. But then you can also like Mm -hmm. braid and style. It can hold the braids. Right. It can. So a little bit of texture. You can do. Stuff with it. Stuff with it. So you know versatile, you're not limi- versatile hair. You, you're yeah. not limited to what you can do. Yeah. That's what I think good okay. hair is. So you're almost directing it towards, like you said, like a, a, bi, a biracial type of person where their hair is not as straight or not as kinky. Yeah, I think society has steered me to believe that <laughs> that's mm-hmm. good hair. Yeah. You know, and I may be wrong, you know, but... That's what it's society. all subjective at that point. Yeah, yeah. I think it's visual. Yeah, it's definitely visual for sure. Yeah. I, I'm not here to be right. <laughs> <laughs> we know I, that. I, 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 I'm not here to be right. You know, yeah. but you you are a, a voice of a lot of people right now. I think a lot. Of I people believe would I agree am with you. I, sure. I, I believe I for am because, sure. like you said, like mm-hmm. your hair um, with hair that's huge. Not your hair, but. You know, mm. not trying to single you out or anything. Oh, it's fine. But people have that's like really straight. Like sometimes it is um, a little bit more difficult to lock in a braid or yeah. you know, get in certain styles with it also. Yeah. And I, I wanna say that's it's not necessarily a jealousy thing, but there's this uh, in, infatuation of white people of black hair because oh especially the let me touch a thing. I like we'll go beyond that. They obviously like don't ask to touch some white uh, touch somebody's hair. And regardless of what race you are. But um, I think because there's so much div- uh, uniqueness or um, something you can do with it. Because with straight hair, it's like, yeah, you can straighten it. You could curl it, but it, won't, it doesn't stay. But I think we have more limited options when you have straight hair like myself. Mm-hmm. I think that's where the curiosity is. And like the, uh, I, w- I don't want to call it jealousy because it's not really say jealousy. But I-, I think that's the, the infatuation with it for sure. So we have, like, I have some questions that, you know, I want to make sure I get through. One is, how do you feel about hair and cultural, culture appropriation? Yeah. But when I, I've been to the Bahamas. I've been to a bunch of islands in the Caribbean. And it's like, there's always a lady on the beach who gets all the little girls or even older women gives them the braids or, or whatever with the hair. Like, do, is that okay? I mean, People are gonna make money that way, I guess. So that's what should be okay. But like, is it okay? Is there such thing as a cultural appropriation, or can somebody own a look or own uh, a hairstyle? For sure. For sure, I definitely mm. think. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm all in for what you feel comfortable with. Yeah. If they paying you doing it. Not to say <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> well, but um, I mean. 
So are you saying it's yeah, okay, okay to do it, or it's it's or somebody sh- or a culture can own it and be upset that another culture is doing using it? Well, I That's think it would be a little different if you tried to walk around with an afro. I think so. Yeah. For sure. I, I don't know how I would do it though, too. Well, yeah, that's there's ways. <laughs> I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah there's true. definitely yeah. ways. Okay. Um, I don't think I have the patience to get to that point though. I think enough hairspray and yeah. stuff like that, you can get your little fro. <laughs> okay. I think so. Not even not even hairspray. I mean, that's why I said that's like yeah. wigs and units and hair. Pieces. Oh yeah. There yeah. now, lately, I've noticed in the past couple years that you know it was like. With, first of all, now women are, or people are more acceptable mm-hmm. to people wearing wigs, weaves, extensions. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. right now, before, like you say, like 15, 20 years ago, it used to be like, shh, yeah. don't tell nobody. I'm wearing right. extra hair. Oh, my God, you can't tell. But now it's like, girl, do you know I got this new lace front and this new piece? Like, it's mm-hmm. okay. It's acceptable. Right. And it's because we've put it out there. But there's so many, there's there's men like men, yeah, like yeah, not they, only they older Donald Trump looking men a little bit, <laughs> no, but <yeah>. even <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. even more black like um, men. Even the fake beards. To wear, yes. Really? Even the fake beards. Yes, oh, wow. yes. It's really amazing how um, everybody is kind of conscious of it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, even like men, whether they're balding and like, oh, I'm kind of early. And I just mm. think. You know, it's so it's it's crazy how I think that uh, life in society right now just has um, put so much pressure on us that a lot of it does come out. And this is getting a little bit more um, technical, but through our hair, Mm -hmm. people don't know that, you know, stress, the way you eat, the Mm -hmm. way you live, um, it all, you know, ties down to your it comes out of your hair, too, Mm -hmm. for sure. Would people, people, man, would you, would you, if you didn't have any hair at the top right now, would you consider You're going all off? Yeah, would just, would I, you off? I'm gonna be totally honest with you, and people might be mad at me, but I'm for someone I'm dating, I'm not into the weaves and wigs and stuff like that. Yeah, like if you can't, sometimes, yeah, you know, what I'm saying? I, I, you can switch it up. But some people are just not comfortable with their hair, and like I don't rock with that. Like the insecurity, like if like, and I like I've met I had a boy, he's never seen his wife's hair, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. never seen saying. his wife's, and that's crazy to me. Like yeah, that is beyond. I, I'm sure like wakes up doesn't make up real quick too. That kind of thing too. Like you know? I I couldn't do that. Yeah. You know? Now, if you got to throw some pieces in or, you know, like, hey, you want to role play and throw a wig on or something. Yeah, but if that's your everyday get down, mm. that to me, that's not. A so ch- how do you feel if you're a woman or you turn to the person you're with, your significant other, you rolled over and she just had natural, really ethnic textured hair and you rolled over and. Would you be okay with her just waking up like that and going? Yeah, if that, yeah. yeah, like okay. you'd, you'd rather her just be comfortable in her own hair, basically. Basically, being comfortable yeah. in your own skin. You yeah. know, what I'm saying? I think a lot of people they wear the weaves and wigs because they're not comfortable. You know, what I'm saying that's my thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna get some right hate. Yeah, you're gonna get some yeah, hate. Yeah. Let, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously, if you're talking about somebody with alopecia or no. like somebody with no, like, yeah, issues, yeah, no, it's totally for, different. Yeah, that's, but no. that's you're just, completely you, yeah. different. Right. Com- yeah. Yeah. Totally, completely yeah, yeah. different. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get but, this straight. But, right now. but yeah, <laughs> set me straight. Set me straight. I, I, yes, I, yes, I knew yes. what I was doing when I said that. So set me straight. And you know, drop a comment. I know what I'm getting at. <laughs> Give it to me. I'm ready. Right. Go ahead. I don't think it has anything to do with with. Um, well, you know, not for everybody. Some people, yeah, not, not everybody. everybody. Not everybody. Mm-hmm. Because in every circumstance, it could be you know, no, for sure, that person. And I know that, and but I'm 100 percent aware of that. But I'm talking it's, about it's that a, it's insecurity. A it's a lifestyle. I'm like I said, I have a whole bunch of hair. Um, my hair is like I said, very textured. I don't feel personally like. I'm okay with wearing my own hair, but the time it takes for me to do my hair and the lifestyle I live is just not practical. Like, I can't wake up and go to the gym or, you know, 
Um, I was gonna say, does it limit you like with what you can do? Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like because it's like for you, sure. Because I'm not a person. I can't wear. Um, I can't put. I don't like to put chemicals in my hair. So my hair is are not all natural. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I don't um, put no Brazilians in it or perms or anything like that. So when even when I sleep, sometimes my hair like I sweat in my scalp. Mm-hmm. So for me to have to get up, blow dry my hair, straighten my hair. It's just, it's, it's not practical. It's not. So how often do you wear a unit? All the time, almost. So, Sometimes. but, 365, I, no, but wait a minute. No, 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 no. I wear it usually when I'm at work. When I get home, I, you take it off? <laughs> I yeah. take it yeah. off. You whip it and off I'm like okay. this? Yeah, right in front it's of like, my it's husband. It's like that, that brobbing release. It's right like, oh, in okay, front good, of my yeah. husband. And if yeah. I But need, he knows what you look like. What, for sure. Uh, okay. For sure. That's cool. If, he needs, if I need him to take my tracks out, he will take them tracks out. For and, sure. and, and that's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? That's so fun. you would help me take my tracks out? Yeah, of course. Okay. I, I've helped women take out their braids. I think he's like just talking about like the wake and sleep. Like you just can't like admit. So you that just have a you just kind of. I don't like problem insecure, with insecure people. Feeling, yeah. Yes, insecure people. Yeah. Insecure. Be confident with yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. Right. You're beautiful with natural hair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that's yeah. what I'm. You don't have to look like a, a white girl or you know Indian, that's a good Brazilian. Man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You don't have to look like that's that. That's a really good man. So, but because you have to make your 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 significant other feel comfortable enough to be able to right. do that in front of you, mm-hmm. also, for sure. Definitely. So that's my thing. Okay, right. you're off the hook. Okay, all right, hook. Cool. all right, cool. <laughs> all right, cool. I think you clarified enough. <laughs> Although they're gonna jump right in those comments, like oh, yeah, at this please. at this point in time, I, I, I want you to. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm asking do, for do. it, please. So, when you go and get your, because you get them undone, then you get them done. How long does it take you in the chair? How long are you there? About three, three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Wow. I get a wash, blow dry, mm-hmm. braid, yeah, and cut. So, how often? Um, maybe every three weeks to a month. And maybe sometime sooner. Just if okay, it's been, it's been more often recently. Would that be right? too much time? Hell yeah, it's <laughs> too much time. I don't got. Th- I mean, that's that's the amazing is that I don't have three hours. I mean, maybe I'm just a busy guy, but like I have I have no time. I got two young kids, and you do too. Like it's not that's not to say that we you know you can't, but like I just, I'm always like on the go. So like I got something to do. So I I call it a blessing because like I, would you call it a negative thing like having textured hair having more difficult hair to work with is it a negative thing in your life or is it just it's a part of you know like would you choose to have I think we talked about this in the, the mixed race episode but like would you choose to have more straighter easier to work with hair or do you if like I cut my if I cut my hair I can brush and go so it's true but this is a, a I'm style, style I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie if my I feel. And this is just talking, and it's not out of a a, a, a look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's more of a convenience. I would right. I would choose for my hair to be um, finer, to be more loose, my curls to be loose. I, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it's part of who you are, and and you work. Yeah, with no, it. yeah. Like I said, yeah. the, but don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm 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 good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, for you sure. like you like mm-hmm. what you are. Mm-hmm. I make so, it work. So, have you seen the movie Good Hair? I have. So what did you think about that movie? Um, very interesting. Very, very. He went. He 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 went like all over the whole spectrum from perms to India to the to the temples, and um, all of, all of it's kind of true. So how do you feel about the selling of donated hair from um, Indian temples? I feel like it's how they make it work. You seen the movie? I feel like that's I've, how I was told about the movie and I culture. failed to see it before this episode. So unfortunately, I'm going to see it because I've been told multiple times to go see it. So unfortunately, I haven't. But I know it's, it's Chris Rock. Is it? Yeah, yeah, Chris, Chris Rock. Rock yeah. Right? And then you think about because most of the people have this conception that you know all hi- human hair, especially not black people. Mm-hmm. You know, most black people know that there, it's not possible for them to be growing and selling all this hair, for all this human hair to be selling right now. Like, you got to know that most of this hair that you're getting that's human hair is not mm-hmm. human hair. So what about these women that's paying, like, $500, $800 for hair? It, like, that's, that's cra- average. But that's, that's crazy. Average. That's not, but how, that's long, not does, how long does that last, too? Is that, like, a lifetime? Like, that's, like, a, a, a wig? <laughs> <laughs> 
I've been like, no, bro, that's one install. <laughs> yes, one install. That's ridiculous. That's that's See, that's, crazy. that's 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 a crazy. huge disadvantage. Like that's that's why I, I could never. Like I I cannot. Like I get upset. Like I don't. I forget because somebody else actually paid for this haircut. So. Um, how much, how how much, much did it, you pay for your? I think it was only like forty or something, so it wasn't like crazy. I think it depends on the, the stylist, though, right? It's is that like, is that more than you either? You your supercuts thirty dollars at most with tip. With tip, you know, after, I, after, maybe it's like twenty eight bucks, so it's like thirty five. You know how much after, I pay for my hair after pandemic? I don't want to know. I know it's not cheap. My hair is one hundred and sixty five dollars a pop, not including tip. See, that's that's where like. I'd almost say like go with the unit because you're probably saving <laughs> money, aren't you? <laughs> are you? I mean, are you? You saving sure money at saving that point, money. right? But she got to pay. Well, she, you do it yourself. For the most part, I do yeah. do it myself. Yeah. But like but no, that initial the time, no, the time and money that it, uh, and see that's that goes over my head. That's crazy. You said five to eight hundred dollars. That's that's actually average. That's pretty good. That's not even for the the good stuff. Yeah, not at all. I mean, That's I have crazy. I have units that cost up to three thousand dollars. But then people pay that much money, mm-hmm. and it don't even look good. They be having yeah. the um, shit like all by their eyebrows and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, those, those are definitely not three thousand dollars. <laughs> I hope those are not the three thousand dollars. Right? That should be like those, this. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I was like, oh gosh, please go get your money back. Please. It's, it's, and then sometimes, a lot of times, they did it at their house by themselves, too. Yeah. And then you can still see, like, the laces or whatever, right? Uh, mm. I definitely think, like, lace right now is a, a trend. To actually see it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. That's just bad. Okay, that's hey, okay, just, yeah. okay. That's just okay. Bad. It's not okay. mixing it well. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, not because I've it, seen plenty. But like, the whole and it's crazy and like I don't I don't know like I don't know how to feel talk about talking about this. But I'm LA girl. Okay. I'm California and I went to Atlanta maybe a couple of months ago and it's totally different. I would say with the humidity, like being so no. much more. Are the hair better or no. worse? No. Like I look at the housewives and stuff and I'm like, oh, like you see Portia, you see Candy and them, like their hair look good. Like, mm-hmm. no. Like mm-hmm. I went to the South and like you said, I seen the the, the units, like their hair line was down to here mm-hmm. and you would see the lace and it would be like all like, like cakey and crispy. Like, no, mm. that that's not, those, those are, those are not the good ones. Okay. No. So. White women, do they come and get um, those type of installs as well, or for sure? But is it is it because I mean, are they have issues growing their hair, or like they have they? Um, like what what would be the the cause of that? A lot of them hair they feel like is too fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they feel yeah. like they're too, and they want more of it. I do mm-hmm. have some that just don't like the texture of their hair, where they. Um, maybe bleached it out too much and yeah. their hair is just damaged right. and um, you know they're looking that's not the look that they're going for so either they are wearing a lot of white a lot of white people wear toppers what's that they just get it's like this piece and they just like put it on the top of their head and mm-hmm. they pin it down and um, it just works because uh, I was gonna say white girls are toppers for sure <laughs> 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 How would you know, Bree? <laughs> a very good question. That was a very good comeback. I'm just saying. I, they, with my limited experience, I won't. I won't talk on what black girls are, but <laughs> there's some. There's some, but I won't. We can't divulge yet. Yeah, so who paid for your haircut? Next episode. <laughs> There, there is a next episode we'll talk about. It, oh, okay. Yeah. So you're talking about like like bleaching hair. So like, is it really difficult for uh, people with I guess uh, textured hair or whatever it, the chemical based like bleaching and like coloring hair? Is it because I feel like a lot of white more white women I see have the like, colored hair, but mm-hmm. like, is it? Does it just depend on the hair style or the texture? Like, is there more well, damage? The one thing, yes. Okay. Definitely. The one thing about um, coloring hair is, mm-hmm. um, like I already told you, I had a unit. I can never, 
my hair would never stand to be this color. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With me bleaching it out mm -hmm. and having to put heat in it all the time to keep it straight. Yeah. Yeah. Is another component of it. Um, so it's just easier to put on units, to put on tracks, mm -hmm. extensions, whatever, you know, the style calls for. Gotcha. I mean, I, I dyed my hair black when I was 10, but like there was no damage, obviously. I did the eyebrows too. It was, it was bad. Have you ever gotten any highlights or anything? I wanted, so like bleaching the tips was the cool thing when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And so the grocery store I went to didn't have. We couldn't find it for some reason. Grocery store. The grocery store. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. So like my sister, my sister took me. So I had my sister do. So my sister took me there, and we and she's not a hairstylist at all. But like, did you find it in the meat department or what? <laughs> no. He's still on them toppers. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gonna go home. <laughs> that's you need a minute. Yeah, I know. Like, Bree, you can see your way out real quick. <laughs> bathrooms over there there's plenty of <laughs> tissue in there for you oh. <laughs> i i have such limited experience with actually like good quality haircuts and styling and mm -hmm. so like i, I yeah i did it black did because we had, come out, though? i didn't do highlights and we did it black instead <laughs> oh <laughs> stupid okay so that was the only time you really colored that's the only time i really colored my hair yeah. so do you feel more confident with your black haircut what's my black haircut <laughs> would you call this a black cut though no but Not it's really. by a black person it is by a black person I wouldn't say I've been, I'm more confident, but like I think the having the, the like the these are like I said the cleanest lines I've had. Mm -hmm. So it is when when you're nice and trim, you do have a, a, a good. Confidence I can for sure. I can tell that you feel like yeah. kind of good about yourself. No, yeah, I mean that's the thing is because any any good haircut, especially when it's fresh, is always nice. You mm -hmm. feel like that he spent more time on you. Oh no, for sure, and like the conversation was good too. Um, it, it's. Uh, I didn't interact too much with the other patients, but that's kind of the nice thing of like when you when you hear about what you like LeBron's show, like mm -hmm. it's conversations. It's like mm -hmm. it's not just you sit with your person and then you like have like how was your day? What are you doing? You know, it, it is kind of we we made it a deeper conversation, which mm -hmm. is cool. So like we we talked about sports and we talked about you know I'm a Rams fan and um, stuff like that and trying to get him to come out and play flag football because he he yeah. was uh, a JUCO player didn't didn't make it beyond that, but but it was, it was a great conversation. I don't think I could sit in a chair with a white man. Cutting your cut, hair? Cut my hair. Because no. you don't trust them to cut your hair or the conversation? The lineup part would get to me. Well, I mean, how hard is the lineup, though, right? I, I just don't think, and I might be wrong, but I just don't think they would have the experience. All right, that's what we're doing. And I went to the black barbership. Now it, we're going to take Breed to the white You <laughs> the will never, barbership. that will never happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will never, no. We're going to Super Let's go. Never. Yeah. Never. yeah. Never. yeah. I, I will go completely bald. Yeah. Really? Before, before you even let them try? Uh, so when you say white, do you mean anybody other than black? Or do you mean just I, white? I, like, what about like I've Latino barbershops? Um, yes. I've been into yeah. a Latino um, barbershop. Okay. But, but there's some white guys who work But there I've too. walked into barbershops. And you're like, nope. Looked and said, nope. <laughs> and got the fuck out. Well, that's funny. When I, when I was in a supercuts, there was a black woman who came in and says, do you guys work with natural hair? And I thought, I was very ignorant at the time. I was like, yeah, like, why couldn't they do it? But, like, obviously there's a huge difference now knowing, you know. It's, there is. It's, like, it's a huge, huge difference. And I'm like, why would you think anybody at Supercuts could do natural hair? Because it was, they were like, yeah, yeah, of course we can, but no. Like, she's like, no, I really don't think, well, then why did you come and ask? I think she needed something, like, right then and there. And that's that's what the Supercuts and fan, Fancy, whatever they are, is, like, it's, you need something right away, you can go there and it's, you're good. Like, if you have your barber, it's like, you got to make sure he's available. You got to, like, especially if he's a really popular bar barber, then you're not going to, mm -hmm. good luck getting in kind of thing. So would you feel comfortable wearing, like, a piece or if you were thinning on the top of your hair, what would you consider? That's a great question. So, like, I've, I keep being told I really take care. So until I get to that point, I don't know. I There's a, a filter on Instagram, it's like a bald filter, and I'm, I'm like, yeah, I better not go bald because it was bad. It was so. It, it's <laughs> usually like um, the yeah. men, the men in your family, like yeah. on your dad's side. My dad had, oh yeah, my dad is. I mean, he's sixty six now, so he's he's definitely thinning. I think he got to a point where he just cut it off too, where he shaved it off. So yeah, it's. I think I'm gonna be good for a while. Yeah, I think I think it'll be fine. Like I think I, I got. Would I want to wear a hairpiece? I don't know. If, if I could look good with a, a bald head, maybe, but I don't think I would. So maybe I would do a hairpiece mm -hmm. if, if it was at that point. Maybe. But it depends on what the hairpiece is. I've never had to wear one. Well, wear nowadays, one. since all the women doing it, why not? You won't even know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I've, I've actually installed hair units and hair pieces on mm -hmm. guys where it's just 
you know, you would. True. Yeah. It is, actually, what's funny is I, I work in the film industry, so we were doing <clears throat> this one movie where the they had a bunch of wigs for guys, and so all the guys on the on the crew, I think they had enough wigs to do it. Like, we all just kind of, like, kept putting on different ones. And I, I had a pretty long set. It was, uh, a fr- how, it was like, down to here or something. It was like, this is, I could get used to this. This is okay. I'll see if I can pull up the picture and put it in, in the show, but it was, it was a good look. I could get used to it, but I had to wear a hat to really make it good because obviously it wasn't blended. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. But yeah, was it customized for you? So do you no, cut yeah. men's hair? I don't. No. Okay. No. Could you if you like you like I somebody on, really wanted to? Like I don't do I don't fade or mm-hmm. anything like that, but mm-hmm. I could be someone who has a little like an inch or so to their hair. I can kind of line you up and cut it, but I'm not a, a, a fade. I don't fade. See, the problem I have is my barber. She cuts and braids, so it's like hard to like. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's expensive as hell, but it's like, damn, she cuts and braids. So I don't have to go to uh, like two different people. So. Somebody told me that uh, black people can't or just don't get lice. Is we don't. that true or not? We don't. That's not true. <laughs> we don't get that's, lice. That's, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Black people black do people not. Black people can, can get lice. Google it. I have, <laughs> and we don't get lice. Yes, it's really. You don't get lice as much. Not you common. Yeah, huh. go ahead and okay, go. Let's, 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 let's do this right now. Yes. <laughs> okay, so why why is it that people think that? Like, why why do they think that? Is it the texture? Is it what is it that white black people couldn't or wouldn't get lice? Well, a lot of people <laughs> um, think that black people can't get lice because our hair is usually more oily. Okay. And we don't wash our hair as often as white people. Did you get, did you get fruit wrong? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm wrong. You're, you're, yeah, I'm I'm saying, you're talking to a professional. Say? You, are you say? not going to believe the professional here? Because I've read before that yeah. no. So I don't know if it, you know, the C, what is it called? The CDC changed their shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and so this must be, yeah. As of Fauci, October twenty ninth, uh, October twenty ninth, twenty twenty one, I looked at this a long time ago. But yes, black people yeah. can get like okay, it's fine. It's well, especially because you I don't. Never got but that that's something like when you, if you don't wash your hair as often, I would think you would. I guess it would be more oily. So that yeah, yeah that makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, and that that's even a myth. That that's yeah. kind of a myth. I mean, you <clears> can still have oil in your hair. It's more of a grip that the lice. For mm. the more straighter hair than the coily yeah. hair, yeah. that they can have a better grip. Of course, they say um, if you you can smother them, and that's why they say um, our hair you you really can't live on because the oil can smother the lice. Oh, but you literally okay. have to put so much oil on your hair yeah. and kind of leave it in for hours, kind of put a cap on mm-hmm. for the lice to just to be able to come out. Okay. What are like one of it, the? It actually like, feeds off like the blood. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the the dirt or the debris on the hair. During the 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 pandemic or whatever, a lot of us were shut down, mm-hmm. um, stylists, um, shops or whatever, whatever. But in my line of business, how I work and the pe- a lot of people I work with, um, it's a necessity. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. like you were saying, she. He, <laughs> He was saying he wouldn't deal with a girl that kind of he didn't really un- know what she looked like. I deal with a lot of people who are really insecure. I mean, your head, like your hair. Yeah. Like you imagine, like for men, it's a little bit different. Like you say, you can buzz it off and, you know, you can brush it and it'll be okay. But for a woman, mm-hmm. like when you look at a woman, if you looked at a woman and you seen her like with bald spots or yeah. hair was thin or fine, it would make a drastic difference on your Absolutely. perception of her. Yeah. No. 100%. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, no, 100%. Like, come on, if you... But I'm not speaking of those women, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, you have a he- head full of hair, and, and yeah. I'm not saying that you're insecure. Whether it was nappy or straight, yeah, that, 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 you that, would be okay with it. Love yourself. But the average person, and this is just to be realistic, is not okay with that. They're not okay with... So that's uh, shallow. Girl so you don't walking need around with whether her hair is short or in a tight afro, um, a, a lot of a lot of people's perceptions don't gravitate towards that. Even in the professional world, mm-hmm. even in the professional world where you go in and you try to get a job or you're working somewhere, they'll let you know. Like, mm, can you? 
Is that, yeah, you think I, still I, I definitely wouldn't go. T- today, you, still, you think that's still a thing? Yeah, I, sure. I wouldn't go on For a sure. job interview with my hair like this. For sure. Really? No. What would you do with your hair then? I would have to get it restyled. I would go to like my normal style, but yeah. not like this. I don't think this is a I appropriate for, style for you, an interview. What did you used to do? I right. forget. It was a lot shorter though. Huh? It was tighter, but it was like a long time ago. Oh, I just you had waves, said, right? Yeah, waves. Yeah. But, um, like, no, I wouldn't go into a job interview like this. Really? I wouldn't, cons- I wouldn't consider it a, prof- a professional hairstyle. Right. Hmm. But isn't that, like, but that, I think that's a big topic we kind of missed, we didn't talk about, was, like, who cares? Like, that's, it's hair. Like, why, why should hair dictate hair. what professionalism is? And I guess, I, again, I work in the film industry, so, like, everybody just is whatever. Like, you, we don't have to dress up and look presentable all the time, and I think that's what I get away with a lot. But, like, in an office setting, it's like, that should be appropriate hair. Like, you shouldn't have to flatten your hair or straighten your hair or, like, or like. The, um, okay, so I work in a medical field. Yeah. And I work in, like, two different um, fields of yeah. the medical field. Right. So, in a dialysis, I can get away with this. Yeah. But if I'm working on an ambulance yeah i can't look like this but why that's but that's what i don't understand mm. like what why because you have to like so for one put a, a it, it's more like military ish yeah you know so they want you like clean cut yeah your hair can't touch your shoulders and stuff like mm. and like my hair is neat but yeah. it wouldn't be considered see that's that's crazy to me clean cut that's stupid. I, I think it's completely stupid because, like, it is like it, it's not a safety thing. Because I understand the safety thing where, like, you're getting. Um, I understand the safety part where it's like your hair is in the could be getting in the way or could yeah, get caught on something. The bees or, something. or you know whatever yeah. that kind of stuff. I understand that, no, but the 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 dreads and stuff or like dreads or something like that. Maybe maybe not as presentable because that kind of has that. Um, uh, connotation of like oh you don't wash your hair so it's dirty. Where do you get that from? I don't know. I'm gonna make it up right now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Well, like, I like, never as far as like presentation, like that. Maybe, maybe that's no. Because uh, some people they got dirty dreads and some people got clean dreads. Sure. So well, I, I, I think as a, the con- like I said, the connotation is like if it's what well, people don't understand, like me, don't understand. Like they they just think, oh, well, like well, you haven't cleaned it, you haven't washed it. That's why it's like that. It may not be the case, but that's what people think. Is what I'm saying. Oh, that's new for me. Did yeah, you think? No. It, I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. No. no, no, no. So no, it could no. be, I mean, 100% could so be So did you ignorance. pull it out your ass or? I would. That is white people thinking. <laughs> that's what I think white people think. Yeah. When they see uh, that kind of, when they see braids, it's like, okay, you took the time to do it. But with dreads, then I think that's a little different. Again, I could be wrong, but I'm just saying so that. So when you look at someone with dreads, are you yeah. saying like, oh, they're, they're they dirty. haven't washed their hair, they're mm-hmm. kind of nasty? I don't think I don't think that of that person, but I think as a professional environment, maybe that's where it's like, oh, like that style may be more of a not professional. If that makes sense, and I, I don't I don't really buy into that shit. I think a hair is hair. It's like whatever style you do your hair in, like that's fine. Like, I mean, if if when you if you think of like a person who's been on the street hasn't washed their hair, it's it's all over the place and and you know nasty. Like you can tell there's a difference. That's what I personally think. Yeah. Like that's not presentable. But I think any any hairstyle should be professional as as long as it one doesn't cause a, a safety issue, right? And if you don't smell like shit, then who cares? Like that's that's my thing. You know me. I know you. But if you see me, mm-hmm. what would you think about this hairstyle coming in for a job? Well, I think I'm. I'm. It's hard to get rid of the bias. Like the like I already know you. It depends on yeah. the job. <laughs> it depends on the job. So like, yeah, like, like if corporate. You were, yeah, but it, but, but I would think in setting. I would think in twenty twenty two it's like oh cool awesome you know like that's a cool hairstyle or something that 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 bugs shit I mean, if that's the case if that's really the case. That, but like you said, a corporate setting, you're yeah. probably like um yeah yeah you'd be hesitant yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's that's, that's crazy that that's still, and so still a problem for me. Yeah, I I wouldn't want anybody to be hesitant, so I would change my hairstyle. See, I would never like. Maybe I'm just cool and hip and like right. Like, like everything is cool. Like I I don't. So you I would can't see you that. would hire him regardless if he had all the qualifications. I could give a shit less. Which, he would never yeah. look at someone. That's you though, like, but not. It all might. Like yeah, that. maybe maybe it is me. I don't know. But if it was blue, or red, or again, I your your performance doesn't change. 
So, like, I, maybe that's my new age thinking or something. Like, if you do your job and you do it well, I don't give a shit what you look like. It's definitely a ch- have it's changed that's because yeah. that, that's the reason like why I don't tattoos have... tattoos and everything, too. Yeah, that's yeah. why I don't have tattoos below my um, elbow yeah. because yeah. the field that I work in. Yeah. Like, the medical field, you're not supposed to have. Right. But it's... Yeah. If you did, we have to wear sleeves. Yeah. And I didn't want to wear like a hot ass sleeve on, right. on the cover. Yeah. But it's been it's more acceptable now. Yeah. So and do you see that as being a problem though? Like obviously you guys are just like, well, that's just what I have to do. I have to be more clean cut or I have to be like to me that's ludicrous, but like is that are you guys okay with that? I, I guess am. That's, yeah. I am. You're it's okay with like a, being told. Uh, it's you're almost like a to uniform. Something. Yeah. It's almost like a uniform. If okay. you're supposed to go into a certain environment and you're supposed to be uni- wear a uniform, mm-hmm. I think that um, it, that that's what it, re- it requires. Okay. It, it's, it's certain places. It's just like, you know, sometimes I go places and I might sound a certain way. I'll use... Um, White speak. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, for the most part, you know, if I go into a professional setting i know certain words and certain things i'm supposed to use i can't be like look this bitch or you know yeah i mean but that's yeah but again that's that's it's 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 that doesn't get the job done like your look should like obviously i mean you shouldn't like just show up in like shorts if if you if you go get an operation yeah and the doctor shows up and he looks dirty yeah like yeah Cause I don't know if this person, like he has dirty, no, dirty, I mean, he has dirty nails no, or something. But that's dirty like, versus a, a style. No, but I know a physician, and I was really, really, really surprised. Yeah. When I haven't seen him in years, mm-hmm. and he had French braids, mm-hmm. but they wasn't neat French yeah. braids. Right. But he's a physician, like a, yeah. a primary care physician. Right. And it really, really. Hmm. Shock me! I'm yeah. like, this person really was goes. He was with your physician? No. No, but I I know him. Could yeah. he have been your physician? Um, he could be, but like, I don't personally care. But I just feel that yeah, it hmm. wasn't wasn't professional. Yeah. I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I'd, I'd be curious to see what people say because, like, I, I feel like it should. As long as you do your job, I could care less. I mean, maybe that's, like, you know, Gary Vee, right? I think that's the new age of thinking with newer CEOs or new whatever. It's like, or the work from home versus coming in the office. Like, I don't care. If the job gets done, cool. Like, it's be be whoever you want to be. Why change so you could fit this? Cor- I, feel, I feel like that's stupid to fit this corporate narrative where you have to be. And I haven't been in a corporate job since I was 18. I've been doing film. So it's like. I've had a very loose, like, I wear yeah. shorts every day. Like, it's, I'm very anti-corporate, if that makes sense. So okay. maybe that's where I'm coming from. Okay, but you also have to, you still have to dress a certain way. You know, you can't go into a corporate office with a t-shirt. If I went to a corporate office, yeah. But that's what I'm saying, is I haven't been in a corporate job ever. So that's, that's maybe that's my bias. There. When the media has that unfortunate persona of like when you wear a do-rag or when you have the braids or like the you know cornrows which i've been told is not really cornrows you shouldn't call them cornrows like what's the price just braids right okay french, french braids french braids so yeah so like that was an intimidating thing like you just like unapproachable and actually that was the thing about the black barber shop too i wanted to really do uh, go on to that was it was intimidating because i i felt like that was a personal space where it's like white people take so much right we take uh um, something that you guys do really well and then we try and steal it and call it our own or whatever so it's like this is a a space that i thought was always for black people for like why would i want to invade that kind of space and so that's why i always i never went to a barbershop necessarily was because okay this is yours and it feels weird or wrong of me to so why did you fade Next episode, I can't say it now. Uh, I'm just saying because <laughs> I probably, you know, I probably thought I'll, I'll like, why the white boy in here? And it's all this. And it was funny. It's like some, there's another white person I, that walked in after that, so it wasn't really a thing. I think, I think, and California is different. Too. I've seen so many where I've seen like white people or any other culture, the mm-hmm. black people, where they're embracing braids or ponytails or any kind of hairstyle yeah. that's supposed to be called on black. Yeah. I think it's kind of cool because it almost like 
Like we 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 set the standard. We set the standard and a lot of times for a lot of different things. But yeah, yeah. you kind of embrace. You're you're trying mm-hmm. to embrace all our culture and we're, yeah. it's cool. That's why you want it because it's cool. And that's what we want to clarify: is so is it an embrace not, or is it a stealing or trying to jump on? It? Like I think a lot of people or some people feel like it's um, encroaching. Like you're trying to be us. You're trying yeah. to. Honestly, yeah. I think in this new world that we live in and trying to be open up and to try to be better mm-hmm. as a as as a as a whole, I think that um, it's a compliment. Right. It's an appreciate. Like, oh, I, I appreciate that. It's okay. a compliment. Yeah. For sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Yes and no. Yeah. yeah. Yes and no. I mean, I, I definitely will go I'll go back to that spot because I really I enjoyed it. It's definitely a different experience. But I think before it was just like, well. I don't feel comfortable and not necessarily intimidation of like, what are these people going to do to my hair? They're going to slit my throat with that razor. It was more just like, I don't feel comfortable because I feel like I'm in your space. Yeah, you this, knew this that you invaded. Yours. You invaded. Yeah, yeah. and that person. I was inv- I'll just say, I was invited Christopher, by a black person. So Christopher person, Columbus. That, that person <laughs> should not. Should, you shouldn't. You shouldn't yeah. embrace that style. If you feel like that, that means that you're not comfortable sure. with it, that you're trying. Yeah. And it's fake and it's false, so you shouldn't right. be. Yeah, you know? but it's more the, sp- the environment and the space. And I think maybe if we were, like, in the South and it was, if I just rolled up into some random town and it was, that's kind of weird. But it's California, and so, like, we're so integrated here, it's a little different. So maybe there is something to say about, like, different areas and cultures like a you know the southern culture versus LA, that might be a little different. So I definitely think we can have a part two of this. Hundred percent. And uh, I think we should wrap it up. Sure. I had a good time, you guys. Oh, thank you so, thank yeah, you this so was, much. This I was I amazing. I invited, yeah. invited you guys on some. Absolutely, some topics. he did. You was a great guest. You were hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very educational. Like yeah. I. I'm already. I'm still learning. Always learning. That's that's a great thing. We I hope all everybody does. Yeah. We all are. So if you know any white people. Can you please send them our way to watch this? Because um, our fan base <laughs> are Negroes, <laughs> and uh, we need some Anglo Saxons. There's like <laughs> there's like six to nine uh, Anglos in there. Lou. Are you, you comfortable please? that I can touch your hair now? Is that a thing? Is that cool? No. You want to touch my hair? Why? Well, yeah. Like why? <laughs> why would? Because my why? producer told me to ask. I know. Never <laughs> touch a black woman's hair. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. <laughs> but for I next, know, I already, know. I already have touched a woman's, a black woman's hair. Oh, How? That's, a, that's next episode. A did, did you uh, grab like this and pull like what you? No, that, that's what you don't do. <laughs> that's what you don't do. Touch I, I, and I, grab. Yeah. And totally different. No, it was it was natural hair, and I asked beforehand, and it was fine. It was okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next time on the differences, black and white. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. See ya. Yeah.